All program in Maryland is taking a unique approach to providing support for caregivers uh, who serve patients with dementia or Alzheimer's. Yeah, a musical approach at that. 47 ABC's Jordy Clark explains in this week's edition of The Bright Side. It's very gratifying that when I talk about this Stories Love Music and the work we do, it is so universal it touches everyone's lives. Stories Love Music, a program improving the care and support for senior citizens through their caregivers one note at a time. A musician and entertainer has made it her mission in life to use her musical background as a unique way to help others, specifically caregivers. To teach them how to use music and other creative tools for their own self-care, their own stress management, because we all know that caregivers of all kinds have a really tough job. Back in 2012, the founder, Ileana Kadushin, was performing in New York City. That's when her talents were used for uplifting purposes after the devastation of Hurricane Sandy left many residents, such as senior citizens, displaced in shelters. It was a very strong depressing wake up call of the amount of seniors that we would have that we have in this country and it was just a startling for me as a younger person to say wow this is this is a big deal so we're performing one of our songs called the joy of life and we're finishing it up and it's a very like uplifting positive song the 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 chorus is the joy of life is here with you today but as they finish the song iliana tells us one lady spoke out and expressed how much their music provided emotional relief from the current chaos and gave her hope, which made her realize her music was much more than just for entertainment. There's some people in our world, in our society, where it's not just a fun and games, that music makes them feel seen and heard and understood. We thought, oh, we can have an impact. Let's take this experience turn it into something. I didn't know what that was going to mean. That something eventually became Stories Love Music, the joy of creative engagement for caregivers. Officially founded in 2017 in Maryland, the program aims to use music as a way to help caregivers either revive or develop a relationship with music, reduce anxiety, stress, and provide self-care in order to better serve their patients. There's been a lot of studies that have already been done on the effect of music on the brain for all sorts of neurodegenerative diseases, not just Alzheimer's, but autism, uh, Parkinson's. We want them to use music the same way people do food and nutrition, you know, um, medicine, hygiene. We want it to become a part of their everyday. And through a grant from the Community Foundation of the Eastern Shore, Ileana was able to expand and train others to use the programming in hospitals, at home, nursing homes, or places like the Mac Center in Salisbury. There's no comparison to sitting in a circle with a group of caregivers. And whether I'm singing to them or we're playing recordings of music that they really like, they get to talk about, make their own playlists, and think about what music they need. And Ileana tells us she can only hope her program continues to provide caregivers and patients with the musical tools to stay motivated and feel supported. So if in some way Stories Love Music, with everything else that's out there, can make an impact in that arena, allow caregivers to feel better about their work on the job. For The Bright Side, Jordy Clark, 47 ABC, WMDT. To learn more about programming, visit storieslovemusic.com. Yeah, I just love that. So inspiring. And of course, we'll have a link to it up on uh, in the story on our website.